Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel where we talk about programming, career change, and working in tech. Today we're going to be talking about how to find a good boot camp. Chances are you probably clicked on this video because you're looking to go to a coding bootcamp, but you don't know where to start looking for that coding bootcamp. Real quick, I wanna add that later this week, I'm gonna be making another bootcamp video and that one's gonna be specifically about free or alternative options to bootcamps. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right in into how exactly you can find a bootcamp. So here's a website, it's called coursereport.com. I went ahead and linked it in my description for you guys. This is a great place to find bootcamps that are in your area, bootcamps that are fully online, and read their reviews. So for example, here under advice, if you go to best coding bootcamps, it'll actually give you some of the best bootcamps by rating in the past eight months. And if we just look, for example, at one of these like App Academy, over a thousand different reviews, you can see what people have to say. Up here, there's also courses that they offer. So without even going to their website, you can see. And then over here, you know, there's links to their LinkedIn, to their website. So this is a great place just to go and explore the options that you have. Also, when you browse schools, you'll see different career tracks and you can actually find out more about the career track itself. Like for example, for full stack developer, there's a whole article information on, for example, the salary and then, you know, typical jobs that you would apply for. This part, I really like the developer resume. So it shows you some of the skills that you usually get taught in boot camps um, that are for this specific career path, which I think is really good to look back at this when you're looking at a coding boot camp syllabus to make sure that you're getting the most out of your coding boot camp. So now that you have Course Report, a place where you can search for boot camps, let's talk about some important things that you should be paying attention to when you're researching these boot camps. The first important thing to consider is financing. Boot camps in 2022 are expensive. In fact, the average right now is around $14,000 with programs ranging between eight to 16 weeks. I bring this point up first for a reason because this is probably gonna have the highest impact on what type of program you decide to go after. Every single boot camp that you're gonna look at has some sort of different financing plan, certain options. So let's just take a look at some examples so you can see what is out there. Okay, so going back to the course report website, we're gonna just look at App Academy as an example. Um, one thing that I want to point out on this site is that when you do look at financing, I noticed that it doesn't have all of their financing options that they have on the site. So when you look at financing and tuition, just make sure you actually go to the website of the bootcamp you're looking at. So as an example, these are some financing options that you often see across different bootcamps. One of these options is called the Income Share Agreement, ISA. And so, so this is where you pay $0 in tuition until you're hired. And then typically after you get hired for, for example, here for at least $50,000 a year, you start paying back to the bootcamp a percentage of your salary for a certain amount of years. This depends on the bootcamp and what type of deal you've made with them. Usually this is probably going to be more than you would pay like fully out of pocket but you know the benefit here is that you can literally start with zero dollars and if you never get that job you never owe them anything there's loan plans deferment plans you do have to put down looks like a deposit here and then the third option that this boot camp is offering is fully upfront tuition so generally Fully upfront tuition is usually your best deal. This boot camp is very pricey. A lot of people don't have the money to do this. Um, I definitely didn't have the money to put down, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 to $20,000 towards a boot camp. One more thing I want to mention is that a lot of boot camps do offer scholarships. Some of them are full ride scholarships, some of them are scholarships for $1,000, $2,000, but definitely check those out and see if you meet the criteria for those scholarships. And if you do, apply, apply, apply. The second important point to consider is location. So you need to decide whether you're gonna be doing your coding bootcamp in person or online. And so for me, when I went to coding bootcamp, my bootcamp was fully online and it worked really well for me. However, I know that online school isn't for everybody. So you need to make sure you're putting yourself in an environment where you learn best. One thing I will say though, is that with in-person bootcamp, make sure that the location that you're choosing is relatively close to you, because if you have to move, there's always additional costs associated with that. And if you have to commute far, then there's time and money also put into that effort as well. When you're thinking about attending boot camp, you need to start planning out your job search ahead of time. What I mean by that is you need to make sure that you're thinking about 
whether you're willing to relocate, what the jobs look like in your area. Also think about how much credential boot camps have in your area. In the United States, there's a lot of options for boot camp graduates to find entry level positions without that degree. But I know that that's definitely not the case everywhere in the world. Um, someone asked a question recently in my comment section about coding boot camps in India and if they are available. And so here is some coding boot camps in Mumbai. You can also look for other cities in India. However, there's more boot camp options in the United States, but that doesn't mean that there aren't boot camps global. The third point that I want you to consider is looking at the admission requirements. I'm a little bit biased. I think that prerequisite work and a prereq course really helps you get the basics down. And even if you don't feel confident with the basics, because boot camp moves so fast, if you take that pre-course, it'll better prepare you for the really intensive boot camp process. The fourth really important thing to pay attention to is the syllabus that the boot camp provides. I highly suggest getting the syllabus and comparing it to other boot camps that you're looking at to see which one's gonna give you the best curriculum. You'd be surprised, I've seen two boot camps that are offered for the same price, and when you put the two syllabuses side by side, one of them had half the curriculum that the other one had, which was shocking. But that's why you have to do your research and you actually have to compare these things. One thing that I highly suggest for you to do is just to contact the bootcamp and ask them questions directly about the bootcamp experience. For example, a really good question to ask is, what happens if you fall behind? Is there some sort of plan of action to get you caught up? How does the bootcamp treat that? Another really important one is job placement. What are they doing to help you get a job after the bootcamp is done? One more thing that I would really recommend you guys to do is that once you've narrowed down what boot camp you want to go to and you feel confident about it you should reach out to some people in that boot camp and ask them about their experience I also suggest that the people that you find be people that graduated recently because boot camp programs evolve and change a lot over time for example I went to a boot camp program four years ago and I cannot refer it or reference it because there not only has their instructors and curriculum and their name has even changed so Things have drastically changed to the point where it's no longer even the same program. So that's why I say choose somebody who has recently graduated. How you can do that is you can go on LinkedIn, you can find their profile as like someone who attended the boot camp and just reach out to them directly. Hopefully you're walking away from this video with an understanding of what exactly you need to do now to research the boot camp, where you can go to research it. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please like this video. Also subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys later this week for my video on alternate resources for bootcamp.